Hey guys, this is Jake, and welcome to my new video. Today we're going to be talking about aspect-oriented programming with exception handling. Basically what aspect-oriented programming is, is just code added on top of your existing code to add behavior to that existing code without modifying the code itself. Um, I know that sounds a little confusing, but we're just going to go over a quick example here. Uh, so first, I have my main program class that I'm going to be creating. And I also have this proxy creator class that this is going to create a new proxy object based on my interface here of iMain pro program. So here we can take a look at that first. In proxy creator, all it's doing is using castle dynamic proxy. And this is a NuGet uh, reference that you can download through Visual Studio. And all this is going to do is, is just basically give you the tools to create that proxy object. Um, so if you look here, we're gonna be using this proxy generator and we're gonna be taking the type T. So you can do things a little differently here. You could actually just pass in the type of the interface that you wanted or whatever type you're trying to get back. Uh, so here I did it where I have a templated type and I'm going to cast that or cast this proxy object with this template type here. Uh, you can also give it multiple types. So if like say if you have multiple interfaces that are uh, implementing on the same object, you would describe them here. And then our concrete class, that's gonna be our main program class. And this is what you're actually gonna be, uh, using the, as the proxy object. And then here I have this, ex this exception intercept and that is the actual aspect oriented programming code that is going to be running on top of your existing code. So once again, this is all done through Castle uh, Dynamic Proxy, where you're gonna create this intercept uh, method. You're gonna take in an invocation, and basically the invocation is just that proxy object that is going to have uh, all the methods and everything, and it's just gonna be called through here. So, Let's start looking at the main program first. So this is my code. This is what's gonna be uh, what's gonna be based on my proxy object. And so for my work, I actually, when I created this, I we have our own container logic set up to where this proxy stuff won't even be used unless the class has a custom exception attribute in one of its properties or methods. So here, uh, it's just gonna, this proxy object is just gonna run the entire time, but this cu custom exception attribute is pretty simple. I just told it that it has to be either on a method or a property. So I have some examples here where I have it on this uh, one method run code, and this doesn't take any parameters, and then I also have this run code, which does take parameters, and then I have this method here that does not have the custom exception attribute. And in my exception intercept, I'm basically saying, hey, does that attribute exist when this intercept gets hit? And then it's going to do some logic based off of that. So if we go back to the main or the actual program main. So now we're going to put a breakpoint on our main program. We're going to start it here where it's actually going to create our proxy. So you can kind of see what's going on there. So if I go and put a breakpoint here in this get proxy method. We're gonna see it's gonna create a new proxy generator, which is all done through Castle uh, Core. And here we're gonna get this type of this proxy object, which is gonna be consisting of our concrete class, which is just our main program. And then our intercept we are gonna be using, you can also create multiple intercepts as well. But for right now, I just have this intercept class here and we want it to be of this type, but you also have to cast it to whatever type you're passing in. And I have it as just passing in as I main program. And here, this is where our actual code's gonna run. So custom exception with, not, with no hit is basically gonna run and let's see what happens. So it still hit our exception class because all that proxy object for that main program is still gonna be hitting through this code just because I don't have a container set up to where it says, hey, don't you know, don't call this intercept uh, class here because it doesn't have the, uh, the 
custom exception attribute. So here it's going to say, hey, does, it, does that attribute exist of my custom exception? It's going to say, no, it's null. So it's just going to proceed with the code. And then if you look at that, it's just going to throw this exception. So here it's going to just console right line. But now if we put this back up, if we go in here. Oops. Go back up, go in here, bring this down. Now, if we run this code, it's going to hit, but it's going to say, hey, there's an attribute. So let's call this stuff here. So we're going to still do the invocation proceed, which is going to run the code. But now when we hit this exception, it's going to throw it and it's going to get caught in one of my custom rules that I wrote. And these are all basically the same. I'm just showing that you can do stuff like this, but um, basically, it's going to extract some info, which is just going to be making a new class. And right here we have the name of the parameter, the type of the parameter and the value of the parameter. And it's going to create this for each value parameter. And then, then it's going to just list through and you guys can't see it, but it's just writing down on the console, the name, the type and the value. So, and then it re-throws, so this is, that's important. So you could have the different rules to where it doesn't re-throw or it does re-throw, um, but I just have it throwing. And then that's basically it. So some quick things. Uh, so this is super ex helpful if you wanna have all your exception logic going through one st uh, spot without actually having to write the code to do it. And all you have to do is you can, I mean, you can just have all your code just run through this exception intercept or you're gonna use what I did where only some parts, if it's labeled with the attribute, uh, we found it's really useful for our data connection stuff where we wanna throw at any time we have an error. So anytime we have an error, we wanna log it, throw it, and then let the business logic handle what's next. And like I said, this can be extremely useful. There's other ways of writing this code. This is just a quick example. And I just wanted to show you guys how it was working. So, but that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.